What up, Maverick Nation? A few weeks ago at Live at the Bike, Berkey, Helmuth, and Brown Baller said this. Uh, it's definitely not fake money, so but sure I feel that like it's I feel like money. person probably had a piece, big piece of info, yeah. I, mean, I know oh, nothing, 100%. it's just speculation, well, but like... That's swapping, that's a whole nother no, thing. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying it was... There's pretty much not many pros that sit down with we're buying a million dollar yeah. game with their own money. I didn't Very know, rare. Eric doesn't put yeah. anybody into anything. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. I'm just saying. I'm just. Listen, yeah, it doesn't have to I should be I'm careful because they're going to blast us out to the world. Phil's saying. I'm not <laughs> saying. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. People told me that uh, that this person had a piece of Antonius. Oh. I mean, I've seen Eric play. I've seen game. him blast too. That's like, it. I mean, you should like Jack Four on the. Only, like, yeah, yeah. The only reason the uh, hand even looks any kind of way yeah. is because of the side bet. They were referring to the Poker Go one million dollar cash game that I set the lineup for. Now, let me be clear. I never stake, trade, or back anyone. My whole game is about pain. It's about people being under financial pressure and having to make good decisions. And so while I know for a fact that nobody traded any pieces in that game, if I were to guess, I think probably three of them had some sort of backer. But I would never be one of those people who would back any of those players. The only things I invest in is Maverick Gaming, my company, things I control and own. I don't think that investing in poker players is a great investment, really no matter how good they are. The comments made by Berkey and Helmuth and Brown Baller on their face are somewhat reasonable. I mean, Helmuth says people close to Patrick and I, who are actually really good friends, told him that um, I had a piece of him. Really, he should just tell his friends to fuck off because they have no idea what they're talking about. While Patrick and I are boys, I don't put him in any game. And I don't want any piece of them in a game I'm playing in, nor do I have any games where people are trading pieces, because I think it takes pressure off those players who are playing against me. Now, Brown Bale, he really has no idea. And really, he's just, you know, making up his own opinion, and he's saying what he thinks. And that's fine. Berkey, on the other hand, it's a totally different story. By his own words, Berkey's been to my house, he was at Jeremiah's weddings, and we have many people in common. If he wondered about that, or wanted to know whether or not I backed or uh, traded peace with anybody, it's super easy for him to find out. Shit, he has my fucking phone number. And like, you know, I said it kind of tongue in cheek. As far as I know, I don't have any issues with persons. Like, I played with him a few times. I, I like the guy. You know, I went to Jeremiah's wedding, which was at his house. Like, good dude. We've had ch conversations. But, I mean, if he wants to play heads up poker, I'm no expert, but I'll play. But Berkey didn't choose to talk to Jeremiah or pick up the phone and call me. Instead, what he chose to do is amplify some fringe conspiracy fucking theory that basically slanders Patrick, myself, implies that we're trading pieces in a $6 million buy-in game combined, and really just undermines the integrity of poker overall, and it's fucking bullshit. I know for a fact that Berkey is often backed, and I know this because I offered him six hours to be able to get the million dollar buy-in himself, but he couldn't raise the funds. And I have no problem with people being back. As I said, I think three of the players in that game had backers because they couldn't risk a million dollars. My issue is with trading. I think it's unethical to trade pieces amongst players in games that are being played together. I think it sets up collusion opportunities and really doesn't smell right. And for Berkey to put those words in his mouth and agree with them is really fucking disappointing.